Good morning. Welcome to today's video. This video is very exciting because we're going to pick up our dog tomorrow. We were originally supposed to pick her up on Thursday and timing wise, it just ended up not working out. So we're going to pick her up tomorrow on Saturday. Works out really well because I mean, even though Chris is working from home, he's working obviously. So this way she can get our undivided attention all this weekend it's gonna be very fun but we are about to head off and go stroller shopping we're also gonna to go to J Alexander's which if you've been following for a while you know is one of our favorite places we're not going to the one we normally go to we're going to the one at East End Town Center because that's where they have the bye bye baby or whatever where we need to look at strollers I knew I wanted to look at them in person from the start, but I was not expecting to get as overwhelmed as I did <laughs> looking online. There are so many different options. Strollers are expensive and I already kind of knew that we'd probably need two, like a travel size one and a bigger regular one. So going into it, just based off of the research I've done, I think I want the Duna. I don't know if they have that one there to test out. I know they have all the accessories but we'll just kind of see. I have seen that one in person though, and I have pushed it and I, I've, I've experienced that one. Sarah has that one and I love how compact it is. So I think we're probably gonna do that for like the smaller one and then the bigger one, and then the bigger one um, will probably be, or at least what I'm thinking right now, the Uppa Baby Vista. That is very similar to like the Mockingbird one. I don't know. All the reviews I got from people said that their deciding factor was going in and pushing them because based on where the bar is at the bottom, certain ones you kick, other ones you don't. So we're gonna go see what we like. Hopefully they have one of them there. I have a 20% off coupon code for online or in store, so that'd be great. But yeah, we'll take you along to dinner to go find a stroller and then to go find a puppy tomorrow. Not find, pick up. baby with, without purchasing anything. They didn't have the exact stroller we wanted, which is fine. I mean, I basically just wanted to push them around to make sure I liked the one we were getting because I knew that was going to be a pretty big deciding factor of how smooth it was and comfortable. And Chris really likes the up a baby Vista, which is the one that I was thinking we would like, but it is so so I at least wanted to see it in person. But out of all the ones we pushed around, that was the one that we liked the most. It has a really big carrier on the bottom or like basket on the bottom. And we're gonna probably do the, the one that converts to two so we can have, and we're gonna get the car seat that matches because you can put the car seat on there, the little seat that comes with it. It comes with the bassinet. And then yeah, we'll get the one that converts to a two seat stroller, expensive, but down the road, cause we know we want multiple kids and I want them to be close in age. So I think it will be worth it in the end. <laughs> it's just gonna be, baby stuff is so expensive. Strollers, cribs, just all, all, of, the, all of the things are expensive, but it's very exciting. It was so cute to watch him looking at all the different strollers and pushing them around. It is interesting because I feel like we just have a totally different experience. Obviously, I'm the one carrying the baby. It's definitely started to sit in or set in a little bit for me now, but once she starts kicking, I know that'll make it really feel real. For him, I mean, like he's he hasn't obviously had any of the symptoms. Like it's just a totally different experience for the dads. And a part of me, it's like there's there's positives to that. Like he doesn't have to go through the feeling sick and achy and low energy and like all the negatives to it or just the challenging parts. I'm not gonna call them negative because it's not negative. They're just a little little rough. Um, but they also miss out on like the I feel like some of the really special things. 
but anywho that was good we're gonna head home relax and then we pick up little Lulu tomorrow morning we pick her up at 10 and the family farm that she lives on is about an hour away so we'll probably leave at like 8 50 8, 8 some, sometime around there between 8 45 and 9 maybe get a coffee on the way I already have her little bag packed with like a towel for her to sit on her lap on. We'll have her crate, toys, leash, potty bags, potty pads. Since she's not fully vaccinated yet, they don't want you like setting them down on any surfaces where just a bunch of random dogs could be walking around uh, until they're fully vaccinated. So we have their, we have the puppy pads. Oh, and uh, like a little collapsible water bowl. So I think we're all set. So excited. Okay, when we come back, we're gonna have a dog. You don't know what that means. You're not gonna like it in the beginning, but it'll all be okay. I promise. Got a crate in the back. We got her whole little duffel bag full of all the things that she could possibly need in this like hour car ride. We're stopping at Tim Hortons to get some well, I mainly wanted an ice cap, but Chris is also getting a bagel. And they have the little egg white bites now. When I posted that I loved ice caps, so many people from Canada messaged me and didn't realize that we had them here. $13.95. Did you stop and get it on the way to school ever? Not often. Call like a couple times. Maybe. When I would go in early to study. I didn't go in early. You are. Thank you. Ah. I was always late to school. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's a, ooh. Smells nice. I would always get an ice cap and a blueberry bagel toasted with strawberry cream cheese and it was so good. Also, someone commented that they don't fill them up like this in Canada. I feel like they always come like this here. You're excited! Super excited, also nervous. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I mean, we're taking, I mean, to be honest, we're taking the puppy away from its brothers and sisters. It makes me a little sad. Yeah. But I'm excited. It's going to love us and the cats. Yeah. The so. cats will learn. Cats will learn. They have to. They, they have, have to, to learn. Yeah. All right. Let me show you how I the camera. <laughs> You're going to get a lot of camera time. <laughs> a lot of screen time here soon. The next next day at least since I've talked to you we have been on full puppy duty <laughs> obviously trying to get her potty trained and getting her used to the house and her new little space um, so I haven't recorded very much but we got a bunch of snow last night she loves the snow and it's so cute so I'll definitely record more today because I feel like we're starting to get her into a little bit of a routine you know I'm like emphasis on little routine, but I need to leave. I was just running around. I shoveled and showered super quick. Obviously didn't wash my hair. I need to head off to my yearly dermatologist appointment to go just get like a full body check. They check all my moles. So this is your reminder to go to the dermatologist and have your moles checked because that's so important, especially if you're a moly person like me. So we're gonna head off and do that and then come back and I'll take my shift with little Lulu 
because Chris is gonna need to be focused on work for a while. So let's go. How long has she been in here? Layla. Just saw her like maybe a couple minutes ago. Maybe. I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Okay, we'll let you go back to bed. We'll keep it nice and calm. Lulu's been taking a little bit of a nap. Layla, right when I got home, was walking around this little, her little play area, basically our whole kitchen. We have gates up, so this is her area. And she came in, walked around some more, got really close and was sniffing her when she was lying on the ground. And then now she's just chilling. That's the closest she sat to her with the gate and like actually stayed and she's pretty calm. happy with this. Update. Well, when I turned white noise on because I'm about to make some breakfast, but she just like pulls herself around the bed <laughs> while she's sleeping. So she moved and Layla was like, <gasps> she's looking at me, but still realized that she does not care. <laughs> training things I do while I'm eating is to keep her she's laying down right now so when she's being good yes I give her a little treat like temper from time to time as I eat so she doesn't beg and so she really hasn't begged at all this whole time the past couple days so it's been going well I try to increase the time a little bit in between bites and then as long as she's good yes We get to enjoy our food. She doesn't beg. She knows that she gets treats if she's good and stays quiet. So that's one of the little things we're doing. And we're trying to give Layla treats as she comes up close. And like, as long as there's no bad behavior. So we'll see if we can kind of train her. Like we're trying to train her or Layla. Lulu, too many L's. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna eat. Mm. Too bad. That's the first time she's come in when she's awake. And so see for this for sure. Yes. She looked right at her. Good job, guys. She's like, I want eggs <laughs> right now. by herself playing with a toy and there's a Kong in there that has just her normal kibble in it and that's for sure just gonna be like her crate time thing now yes good job good job do we need to go potty no, back in
lifted, or yeah, we both lifted. I lifted shoulders. It was a 30 minute workout and then I finished shoveling our sidewalk. She is also having dinner out of this fun little puzzle I got. The one you saw earlier is the one I originally had, but she got so good at it so quick. So I want to try to switch them up and I feel like she seems to be thoroughly enjoying herself. So we got BB Bob. I got double protein because I don't think I've eaten enough today. I haven't been hungry the past couple days, but after after I eat, I'll show you what the bump look like. What the bump looks like, it's gonna be even bigger, but I feel like I'm really showing now. But I'm gonna eat this, put some teriyaki on it. It's gonna be delicious. I literally just took a couple bites and I know I'm gonna get so bloated after. So this is what I also have like super <laughs> wasted underwear on from Vitality. That's a bump. That is a bump. So that is what she's looking like. Now I'm gonna eat. That is gonna be it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I need to go upstairs and finish editing it. I'm only like halfway oh. through. Anyway, that's it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Meet Lulu. I posted a video on Instagram of Layla going in and poking her through her cage while she was sleeping. I was so glad I got that on video because you were out of the room when she did that. Yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, anyway, I will see you in the next video. The Lulu haul will be coming soon. <laughs> and we're gonna go take care of that.